Let's talk a little bit about pulling down with the hands to start the downswing. There are a lot of videos and a lot of cues out there that talk about getting up to the top of the swing and feeling like you pull on a rope or pull on a chain to get these arms lowering in transition so you can start to shallow that golf club out. But there, this feel is not necessarily wrong, but there is one move that I will typically see players get them in trouble when they try to do this. So if we are looking at the angle of the shaft in this forearm, a lot of players, when they have this feel of trying to feel like these hands are starting or the arms are lowering, what they do is they start to narrow this angle too much. They start to let the wrist collapse in. This is going to get the club collapsing towards the body. And you can see when I do this, my hands get very low and the club head is very high at this point. So a lot of players will think they're creating lag when they do this, or they will think that they are getting the club to start lowering by getting the hands to go first, but this is actually going to be a club steepener. So if I get up to the top of the swing and I pull down with the hands and I narrow this angle, and now we keep this position and I turn, you can see that club is extremely steep. That club is very vertical, very over top of my forearm rather than laying down back behind me, where we would like to see that club as it starts to shallow on the way down. So while the feel of pulling down on a chain or pulling on a rope is not necessarily wrong, while the arms lowering isn't necessarily wrong, it's the way we go about it. So if you get up to the top here, it's okay if you are feeling these arms start to lower, but we need to have a little bit of rotation blended in with that with the body, not so much just yanking down on the handle, feeling like all of our force is going through the hands into the end of the grip, that's gonna narrow this angle. And this is where I will see players compensate by doing one of two things. One is going to be, as they do this, that club is going to get very steep, so they will early extend. As I start to push my hips forward and lean back with my head, you can see where this club goes. It starts to lay behind me a little bit more, starts to shallow out. Early extension is a shallower. So players will get to the top, feel like they're gonna start by pulling on the chain or pulling on the rope, really get these hands working down, club steepens. Now, if you were just to maintain your posture at this point and rotate, you would miss this golf ball. But if you start to thrust the hips forward, pull back with the head, that club is gonna lower behind you. That is where early extension is gonna get that club down to the ball. The other is going to be, players will get up to the top of the swing, they'll pull, gets very narrow where the hands are very low, club is very high, and this is where players will then start to lean back. You can see that's another way that it can almost make it look like this club is shallowing. If I get here and now I start to lean back with the upper body, you can see that club is starting to fall back behind me. But this is where I'll see players get very jammed, they don't rotate, it's strictly leaning rather than turning, and from this spot or the early extension spot, they will really struggle with two-way misses. So again, feeling the arms start to lower is not an issue. Feeling like these arms are lowering plus rotation is going to get you into a pretty good spot, but feeling like you yank down on the handle is gonna get you steep and a little bit over the top. So a good drill to work on this is take an alignment stick and I want you to put it underneath your back armpit. When you get set up here, you're gonna see you'll have a little bit of space between your front forearm and the stick. So now as I rotate, I'm gonna go up to the top of the swing, stick will connect to your front forearm. If I get up to the top and I pull down, I'm gonna to start to disconnect from this stick. But I can feel my arms lower, but if I add in rotation with that, that is going to allow that stick to stay connected to that arm a little bit more. What this will look like down the line is if I get up to the top and just yank down with the hands, I'm gonna fully disconnect here, club is very steep. But if I feel my arms start to lower a little bit, but I add in rotation with that, you can see that club is actually starting to get into a pretty good shallow position. So this is a good drill to make sure that you don't start yanking down on the handle, but make it a little bit more of a move where these arms lower plus a little bit of body rotation. So you can hit balls with this one. This is where I would start with very small chip shots, just getting the feel down, rotate to about chest high, and then really focus on keeping that arm connected to you, or the club connected to the arm in the downswing. If you get to the point where you start to pull, like I mentioned, you're gonna get here and you're gonna come off this stick, get very steep. And as you get more and more comfortable, you can start hitting full shots. So the feel of pulling down on the chain or pulling down on the rope is not wrong, but just make sure when you do this, it's a little bit more of arms starting to lower while you keep this angle a little bit wider, plus rotation, not so much getting here and strictly pulling down with the arms. A lot of players will think that that is going to let the hands get to the ball first, but a lot of times as they do this, hands may be uh, leading the way up to this point, but eventually you're going to either tilt back or you're going to early extend and the hands are gonna lose that race. So give that drill a try to help you get that body a little bit more involved.